Привет. Milani's doing good. Uh, she's getting kind of tired of her car seat. But she hasn't been in a car seat for too long, so it's not that bad. So one her appointment is at 120. So we have some time to kill. We'll probably. Do you know how far it is from here? From here, it'd be 10 minutes. Okay, well, 10 minutes. Or 10 miles. But I'll keep you guys updated. Who else called me? Looks so good. Julie. So what? An idea on an ETA. Ooh. Estimated time what? arrival. Yes, I know what that means. Because Harley had their Harley knew that when they were getting their shipment in, so well not of the Indians, but like of their bikes. Oh my god, her poopy is like a human. She is a human. She's a little human though. Her poopy shouldn't be like this. I forgot to mention. Oh. That she only has so there are seven places where you can get ties in your mouth the cheeks the bottom lip the top lip under the tongue that's five where are the other ones I think there's no there's five places I don't know there's Dang it. I don't know, but she only has two ties. So she has her upper lip and under her tongue that I know of. When we go in there, I will 
know a little bit more they're gonna do a evaluation they're gonna check her imagine if she had cheek ties too which those are kind of obvious you would know but hopefully just those two and she doesn't do too bad huh i hope so. I hope you don't do bad, baby. <laughs> so I'm going to do one last thing before we go in for her procedure. So I have a little bag of like three or four different medications in here. And then I have the little drug information. What's this called? Drug packs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drug packs. Okay. Med. So I have... So I have Motrin, that's the one she's holding. I don't want to take it, yeah, there you go. So I I bought this um, to give to her beforehand. Oh baby, you're not making this easy for me. Oh my God, can you take the baby for a second? So I have these and they're little, it's a pre-measured vial. What? No, it is not. It's a pre-measured vial. Um, it, five come in a pack, so I have 10 here. So these are for teething. And then I have Arnica 200 CK. Oh, you can't see that. This is a natural remedy. So you can give as much as you need to. So this actually, I just took five in my mouth and she can get it from my milk. But if I need to give her some too, I just put it in her breast milk, which I did bring some breast milk. And then, Motrin, before the procedure, I think this is what I'm going to give her. She has to stop eating before, she has to stop eating at 12.20. So I think I'm going to give her a bottle and then some of this stuff. When's the appointment again? 1.20. 1.20. Yes. And then I have some teething tablets. So once for day, once for night. This is for night and it just has stuff to make her rest a little bit better. And then the daytime ones so she doesn't get drowsy. Like and I, I emailed my off the office and I asked them what was recommended to give before the procedure. So hopefully they get back to me before her appointment time. But if they don't, I've done so much research that I kinda know what to do. Milani, where are you going then? Where are you going, baby? Huh? What are you doing? So we are here. She's actually sleeping. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go inside. I think it's like one o'clock. We're gonna go inside and we will see how she does.
They took her back there. Uh, my husband went back there with her while they do the revision. I can hear her crying already. Like, I'm so sad. I feel so bad, but I know this is what she needs. Oh my goodness. My heart can't take it. I hope she does good for the rest of the day, though. I just, I feel horrible. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't record the consultation. Everything just happened so fast. Like, he walked in and I barely got the chance to put my phone on record and just leave it there. And I was holding my daughter, so it was just, it was hard. We're all done. It's been a while. She did really good. I wonder if she's in pain though. This just scares me. I don't want her to, the pain to catch up to her. So we've been giving her a mix of things. That very strange. So how many, say that again, how many every 15 minutes? Two every 15 minutes. Okay, so, so she needs two more to in my lips. Good, you can still say dada. She's mad at me. You growling? So as you guys can tell, she's done. She's being her normal self right now. I just have to stay on top of her pain medication. Her ties were very bad. Um, they were really, really tight. The palate is narrow and high uh, because of her tongue tie. Wait, careful. Because of her tongue tie. So the pediatricians don't know much about ties. Um, they feel like if the baby's gaining, the baby's good. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. It's been two hours since she got her procedure done. So I gave her some Motrin and then I've been giving her and some of these teething um, tablets. And she's doing really good. I hope the pain doesn't catch up to her though. We're going to go get some Tylenol. So I can give her some Tylenol in an hour, um, just alternating with ibuprofen. I do need to warm this milk up, like it is freezing. I mean, I'm gonna breastfeed her, but <sighs> for the plane, I need a bottle. How am I love? On the way here, I actually didn't even get to sit with Jeff. I got to sit with this lady, which was really nice. I I don't mind. How is your lady, baby? Huh? She to herself. <laughs> um. People have been so nice to me. I don't think she can feel her mouth. She's not eating most of the cracker. Um. People have been so nice to me though. When I went, so she was sleeping, and when the people were leaving the plane, it was my turn to get up and go. But I stayed and just waited for everybody to leave. And this lady's like, oh my gosh, let me help you. And she put my armrest up for me. And then I saw that my shoe was untied. I was like, well, I can't do anything. I'm holding the baby. I'm in a plane. There's really no, no place for me to put my kid. And the lady's like, you know your shoe's untied? I was like, yeah, I know. It's okay. And then another lady that was in front of me was like, I'll tie it for you. I have kiddos. On, or I have a little one too. I know what it's like. I was like, aw. So she tied my shoe. <laughs> He will take care of you when you have kids. Isn't that weird? I'm so surprised how well she's doing. Look at the smile. What I am going to dread is the stretches. I do not want to do the stretches because I'm sure they hurt. I don't doubt it. I do have a post up um, appointment, but we're just gonna do it through the phone so we don't have to come back to Denver. Hi. <laughs> I'll see how she does and I'll update you guys. What? <laughs> 